We're now going to make a backup of our Windows 7 computer so that if anything does go wrong during the course, we will be able to go back to this point and all of our files and settings will be exactly the way they were when we started. So to do this, we're going to go to the Windows icon and click on Control Panel. Now you see it's right here, back up your computer, but if for some reason it's not, click on System and Security. Then look here and you'll see it's right there, back up your computer. And I'm going to show you from step one how to back up your computer. I haven't even done this on this computer and it would be good for you to see how to do it from step one. So we're going to click set up backup. In order to create our backup, we're going to need to select a backup drive. So I plugged in my external hard drive named Brains, and you also see that you can select a DVD drive. I'm not sure who would want to backup their entire computer onto a set of DVDs, so using an external drive is much easier. I'm going to select it, and I'll click Next. The next question asks, what do you want to back up? It's recommended that you let Windows choose, but let's say that you wanted to choose what files you wanted to back up specifically. I'll click on that, and then we'll go to the next screen. So, as you can see, it's currently set to back up data for newly created users, any of my libraries, including documents, music, pictures, videos, additional locations like my desktop, downloads, favorites, saved games, any of that stuff. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the stuff on my computer is also saved. All of your applications, all of your user information on the computer, all the really important stuff is also back upable. So I'll go ahead and select it all, and I'll click Next. Now this is just a brief review of what we're going to do. We're backing up to Brains, the external drive. The backup summary here says that we're backing up info for all users and all files on the C drive, which is your default hard drive. Another cool feature is that you can set it to schedule a backup so that you can back up every week or every few days, however you want, and you can change that schedule by going into this settings pane, but I'm not going to. Now, in order to run it, I'm going to click Save Settings and Run Backup. And it starts the process. It might take a little while, so I will go ahead and let it do its thing. It seems to have started it, and I'm going to click Backup now. As you can see, the backup is now beginning. It might take a little while, and so I will pause the video now, and I'll return as soon as it's done. Now that the backup is finished, you can see that the size is 332 megabytes, not too bad. Granted, this is a new install of Windows 7. You can see that the next backup will take place on this date at this time based on the current schedule I have set. And today, this is the log of today's backup. Anyway, we have now made a backup of our computer and we can move forward without any fear of losing files or important data.